um, rules for successful marriage part one um, I would say like like I told my friend recently um, a lot of my friends that got married and divorced uh, soon after they um, one thing they didn't do is take time of singleness with just them and God to become whole a lot of people aren't whole um, and they look to other people to fulfill them rather than fu being fulfilled by God. So that person becomes an idol. There's unfair pressure on both sides and expectations. Um, so basically, um, whenever someone, you know, finds their fulfillment um, and wholeness in God and rely on them, you know, it's not like someone's 50% and then they're like, the other person completes me. It's like they're both 100 and they both put 100% effort into their relationship at the same time. That's That that makes for a pretty decent, healthy relationship um, as opposed to, you know, you just, you just, you know what I mean? Like you're broken and you're just looking for somebody, some, another broken person to fulfill you. You know what I mean? That doesn't work. Eventually y'all would disappoint each other in some way or another because none of us are perfect and I, I use the word holding it a uh, whole, um, you know, by that, I really just mean like, you know, your, your relationship with God is there. Um, so and yeah, your identity is found in God rather than acceptance from the world or people or whatever, what have you. Um, man, that's part one. Deuces.